Okay, next, let's go ahead and symbolize these roads. Here's the default representation. Like the points of interest, if you were to right click and look at the attribute table for these roads, they have something called a CFCC value that um, designates the type of road it is. This is something from the US Census Bureau. And that's what we're gonna to use to create symbols for these roads. You can think of these roads as a type of ordinal data. They're, they have a ranking, even though there's no numerical significance, but there is a hierarchy. For example, an interstate road is a federal road as opposed to a state road as opposed to a county. And if you live in the United States, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not from the United States, this is similar to a lot of places really everywhere around the world that there's jurisdictions of roads. But their symbols have importance because of that jurisdiction. And, and let's go ahead and show you how to do that now. Now, a couple things you can do to get started with this. Sometimes I actually find it helpful to change around the underlying base map to look at an existing road map. So if I were to go to map, base map, and use something like navigation from Esri, and if I turn my roads off, you can see that idea of the visual hierarchy of this ordinal data of roads. This right here is an interstate. This is a big, heavy duty type of road that has a lot of traffic on it. This is an exit. This is a county road. This is a, a, a state road and local roads. And you can see they clearly have different kinds of symbols, thickness of the line and so forth, um, tying in very much the ideas of visual variables that you may have learned about on this channel. So when designing your roads, Keep that kind of base map in mind for some design ideas. And you'll find that once you work through this roads data set, you'll actually be able to create something somewhat similar to this. So to start with, right click and go to the symbology of your roads. So in this case, we're going to use unique values. And the field we're going to use is the value field. And I actually specifically prepared these data sets to make this part a little easier. But you can see there are only about five or six, uh, sorry, six different types of roads that are here. And some of these names may seem a little strange if you're not familiar with these terms, but basically we're going to break these roads down into a federal road, a state road, a county road, or a local road. And you can see here in the, in the legend, you get these maybe seemingly cryptic kind of names here, but we can do things such as grouping these all together to create the kind of road symbols we want. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and combine so, some of these classes. So for example, let's first do a local road. We're gonna do that by highlighting the row here, local neighborhood road. Then I'm gonna hold the control key down and select this other one, access ramp, and driveway or service road. And all three of those are gonna get combined into one legend class that we're just gonna call local roads as we don't need all the excruciating detail about something being an access ramp or a driveway. So with those three selected, I right click and select group values. And you can see my legend changed. And over here, under the label, I'm gonna change all that and just call that local. Now this next one, interstate highway, that's pretty intuitive. I'm gonna just gonna change that label. to Interstate Highway. This one I'm gonna call a State Highway. And this one I'm gonna call a County.
and I'm going to remove the all other values. Save my work. And now let's take a look at some of the sim. Let's first create some symbols here. Very similar to like you saw with the points of interest. You can start out by double clicking on one of these symbols, like a, an interstate highway. If I double click on that, I have a symbol right here for highway. I'll use that one. And again, this is where you might look at the underlying um, base map to get some ideas. So in there, they're using a kind of a thick yellow line. So if I wanted to make mine look that, I'll double click. And perhaps use the major road symbol. And so uh, we'll continue through all of this. Again, these are just suggestions on what to make your map look like. Feel free to use whatever symbols you like. And again, you can base things on the underlying base map for some suggestions. And of course, you can do things like the interstate. If you go under the properties, you can make modifications such as how thick it is, like the line width. I always remember to hit the apply button. It doesn't happen instantaneously. Now, something to keep in mind to make some improvements to the way these roads look is symbol drawing order and a couple little refinements you can do. So for example, if you zoom in a little closer on how these lines are looking, you can notice there's these kind of gaps between each line and that's just the nature of how uh, data sets from the US Census Bureau are. So a couple little uh, tricks you can do to fix that. First, if you go back to your symbols, for example, take out all those little overlaps, go to each symbol, double click on it, select its in this case, the cap and the join and make the cap tight, but, and when you hit apply, you can notice how some of um, those gaps are going away. So I'll do the same thing. And I'll do it for this county road here. So again, I'm gonna go, in this case, these are what they call compound symbols. So there's there's red that's being drawn along with black in terms of their width. So if I fix to fix the black, I'll click on the black shape, caps and joins, select but, and that should take care of, see how the gaps go away. So again, under layer, cap and join, cap tight, and this is how the line segments will, will draw. So for what this data set is, it's pretty good. Now you can see though, we still have kind of this kind of just bad looking way that these lines kind of are crashing into one another. And these roads do have a hierarchy in terms of local, interstate, county, and so forth. So the way we can fix that a little bit, if we go back, you wanna reorder how the symbols are set up in, in the legend classes. So for example, we'll put interstate right at the very top and I'll move it up the drawing order like that using that button there. We'll make it state road is the next level. County road. And then the last thing we wanna do is enable symbol level drawing and that will start to enforce this hierarchy within the legend. So to do that, click on this button here, symbol layer drawing, enable symbol layer drawing. 
And when I turn that on, you can see how it started to clean up. I'll turn it off so you can see what it was. So notice how there was the local roads are kind of printing on top of the state road and the county road. And by enable the symbol level drawing, you can see now that there's a drawing order so that certain things will draw on top of one another. So keep that in mind to make your roads look cleaner in terms of the, the cap and the join type and also symbol level drawing. And um, depending on the quality of the underlying data set, it can make things look a lot cleaner, like an interstate drawing over and so forth. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.